college rustler recruiting, okay, here at Fall Brawl. We got B Money. B Money, I know you know what's going on here, yeah. okay? You got recruited to NC State yeah. from Wyoming, so you, so you know a little bit about the recruiting process, yeah. okay? But but I like, listen, you just told me some things that made, I want to buy your service for my two-year-old now. There we go. Okay, but, but like, what do, what's the, the goal and the objective of, you know, college wrestler recruiting? The ideal is managing the expectations. There's plenty of platforms to wrestle on, and not everybody under, under, understands that. You, you've got, the process is so muddied sometimes that the parents don't know what to do, the kids don't want to do, and then the kids wind up quitting their junior, senior year because they don't know where to go. So you manage those expectations, get them on the right level for not only wrestling, but their education. Get them through, you know where their resume goes when they've wrestled in college and get a degree? Straight to the top. So let's get them in wrestling. Don't quit. 1% of high school wrestlers wrestle in college. Let's get those numbers up, and this is a platform to help them do that. It's a simple scroll down deal that the coaches can search them through huge matrix of ways. So it's an easy process. You and I are raised by blue collar people, right? And you know, being a plumber. I didn't think we had a collar. <laughs> right? I mean, right? I mean, when you think about it, like a, a lot of our options weren't to do school or it was military school, right? Yeah. That was like what your dad yeah. pushed, and my dad was like, no, go do iron work, right? So when you look at kids like that who want a different avenue, don't want to go into the vocation, you know, this is like huge for them because they can really find an opportunity, get an education with it. And continue to do what they love, and that's wrestling. But they can get that education. You know what? Do you care if it's a wrestling tab for a scholarship? I don't care what the label is. Give me a scholarship and needle pen. I'm good with that, right? So let's get you into wrestling. Let's get you into school. Graduate. Get a good job. Stay with what you love. All right. Speaking of somebody who loves wrestling. This is what you want to do for a living is, is wrestling. Absolutely. What, whether it's in a business like this, yeah. whether it's, you'll scrap until probably your limbs fall off from what I've seen out of you. Okay. But like when you look at it, how important was something like this have been for you? I would have been huge. I mean, obviously I went through the recruiting process and I went through a transfer process as well. So it was never just the easiest thing for me. Um, I tell everybody this, when I sit down with you, it sucks to get recruited. It's a very stressful process. So you have to do stuff like this. You have to talk to people. You have to have good things set in place so that you can ultimately get to where you need to be and be the most, the most successful you can possibly be. Because when you're 17, this comes at you intense and it's hard to really uh, you know, thumb through everything, all the coaches, all the schools, all the academic process. So um, put yourself in a position to become successful in college, either D1, D2, JUCO, whatever it is, okay? Because um, you only have a couple of years to get recruited and you only have a couple of years to be on the college level. Don't ruin it because you, you know, kind of prepare yourself correctly through it. So, um, you know, I encourage everybody to sign up for it. Um, if you don't go to college and you don't wrestle, that's fine. But put yourself in the position to try to get there and try to continue to wrestle. And, uh, it, you know, wrestling is built to characters characteristics that nobody nothing else can and I truly believe that and that's why I want to stay in the wrestling business forever because uh, to me it's the greatest sport on, on planet earth and you will be the most successful person you can be through through wrestling. You're from Wyoming, you're not from PA, you're not from Ohio, yeah. you're not from Jersey, Illinois, the, the states of California that are getting recruited. Yep. You know, a guy like you, this is like worth its weight in gold because you're you're one of those gems that's hiding hiding down there that people are really looking for the, you know the diamond in the rough. Yep. But um you know this is obviously the East process. How are you able to to, to get out of that? I'm not, I'm a Wyoming guy, but I can still bang with everybody. Yeah, I mean ultimately you got to get out and wrestle. I mean that's the that's the thing. But uh, you know a lot of people they don't go to Fargo and become all Americans. So once that doesn't happen, now what? You know where do you go from there? And that's why you have to come and get in on the profile at you know collegewrestlerrecruiting.com and um, set yourself up because. Nobody knows anybody from Wyoming. A lot of people don't even know it's a state. And there's a lot of other states that fall victim to that, uh, you know, kind of scrutiny. So put yourself in the position. If you're not an All-American, if you're not a state champ, you got you got to do more. And even if you are those, you still have to do more. I was top 100 recruit in the country. I was right at 99. Still, not a lot of colleges hit me up sometimes. A lot did. You never know. It's all just a, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, set yourself up and put yourself in the position to uh, get those calls, get those contacts, and end up being at the school of your dreams. Producing the crapshoot of it, how important that is to you. you know, coaches, it's a crapshoot for a lot of them. It's, it's, you know, you, you gamble on number 99 over here, Bryce Meredith, number 99, right? Um, you know, that, that's a gamble. And it's Wyoming, you know, someone, a, a guy who, who's he wrestled, right? How do you, is it, is it about, you know, reducing the crapshoot for, for college coaches? Well, uh, hey, you know, 
you got to have a good room to have a good team, right? And not everybody wants to just be a guy in the room. They want to be the guy on the center stage. But at some point, you got to earn your way in. So you may go in if maybe you're not a top 100 guy. Maybe you're a, Out of a top you're 300 a guy, right? You're a thousand guy, yeah. right? But you're a good wrestler. In that room right there going on in the fall brawl, there's a lot of great wrestlers in there, right? They can wrestle in college level different stages, different platforms. So we manage those expectations, get them in the right place for the right wrestling room, right education, and we get them on.